Hey YouTube, it's Baronix74 here again. What we're going to do today is I'm going to try to help you find Comet Ice on yourself when you're at home on your laptop or computer. So how we're going to do that is we're going to type into Google Stellarium. Right, this is a free download. I think we pay for as well, but we're going to get the free one today. So we get these options up. You click on Stellarium Download. And then you just go ahead, you click on free download, you run it, you save it, you answer all your questions like um, you accept the terms and all that, and blah blah blah, and you go forward and you install it into your computer. Now, when it's installed, it should appear in your desktop up here. And we'll just go ahead and we'll open that. It should be there. Right. Now, at the start of this, Comet Ison isn't programmed into it. Okay, so what we have to do here is we press F2 press again, <laughs> and we'll go. This is our configuration just here. So we'll go to plugins. Now, if this is going too fast, just pause the DVD or the video and come back. So we'll go down here to Solar, Solar System Editor. Click on that. Make sure that box is here is ticked load at startup. So we'll just click here. Solar system. Yep. So what we'll back to the press F2. Solar System Editor, Configure, now we're going to Orbital Import, Orbital Elements, click on that. Now, you see here we want to see Comet ISAN, so you'll see it points. So we'll click on this, that's setting up comics. We'll go down here, to select Bookmark, click on the side of it. There's only one option, NPCs, List, and Observable Comics, so we'll click on that. Get all the two elements of it. So we'll go to right here and we'll click on that. Now, here we have all of you can mark all the comments if you want, but if you just ice on your register, we go up here and we type in C slash 2012. Yes. Comment ice. See, you can't just type in ice on you type in the proper name for it. You see slash 2012 S1 and I see it not. We we'll just click on that and we'll add objects down at the bottom. Now, hopefully, that is it saved inside now. So we'll go over here, left hand side, search window. We'll click on that. And here again, we just don't type in I sign, we have to type in C. Slash twenty twelve. Nice to already. S one. Let's search right here. And there it is there behind the trees. Now you can. What you can do with this is. You go through all the options and you can set it for where you live. I think this is for France at the moment. This is set for France. It's not too far away from me. I can set it for Ireland. But you can see here, that's what common is at, is at the moment. So what you can do, there's a lot of options as well. You can fast forward it. There she is on our approach to the sun. So you can see yourself here. We're you're looking to the east at this moment in time if you want to try to see it, but it's very close to the sun. So here's Mercury. Mercury is just here, and here's a comet Iceland. It's still fixed on Iceland. So when you fast forward or rewind it, it doesn't matter. And you can actually go a few days ahead if you want to. Now it's very close to the sun, so it's going to be very, very hard to see it. Maybe impossible. So, and you can skip forward to a few days. 
Muy bien. Muy bien. Let's see. Now, there is lots of other options down here at the bottom screen. You can see it now because I'm using it. But when you download it, there's a lot of great things you can do. I'm not going to show them to you now because I'm going to be surprised. There's lots of great things on this um, Stellarium. Go through it, install it, it's for free. Um, and it should help yourself because you know yourself where the sun rises and where the sun sets in, from your house. So you get to judge where it's coming up, where it look in the skies at night or in the early morning. You never want to look. Um, I hope this helps. Please leave a comment below if you have any more questions and try to help them out. I know Google Plus is that now and it's kind of hard. Still trying to get used to that whole Google Plus thing. So if you have any more questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll answer it as soon as I can. I hope this helps you find Kamadaisa. Thanks very much. Bye bye.